Lent. Those 40 days starting in February when people all over the world, but especially Catholics, try to give up something they enjoy. Heck, even non-Catholics get in on the action. Hey man, here you go, I got you a slice of pizza. Oh man, I can't. I gave up pizza for Lent. What? I didn't know you were Catholic. Oh no, no, no. I'm just giving my failed New Year's resolutions a second try. Oh. Here are five signs it must be Lent. Number one. People give up. Lent is the time of the year when you start hearing people say they're going to give up stuff. Some give up stuff that they like but is bad for them, like fast food, pizza, carbs, meat, smoking, alcohol, and Starbucks. One of the things that people give up nowadays is their cell phones and social media, which brings me to my next point. Number two. Facebook suicide. Lent is the time of the year when people get overly dramatic and disconnect from social media. Or how I like to call it, commit Facebook suicide. It is with deep regret that I inform you that I am deleting my Facebook. I know, I know. I did this last year. Shh, they'll be back. Number three. Fat Tuesday. For a lot of people, Fat Tuesday is the last day of debauchery before Lent officially starts. In New Orleans, or New Orleans, it's the day when women flash their boobs for beads. People all over the world drink excessively, eat excessively, and overly indulge on the things that they are going to give up for the next 40 days. Cause nothing says I'm going to have self-control for 40 days like losing all control the day before. Number four. Ash Wednesday. For my non-Catholic friends, this is a day that people walk around with ashes on their forehead in the sign of a cross. Oh, that's what it is. For my Catholic friends, this is the day that your friends and co-workers are usually doing a version of this. Hey, 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 hold on. You got some on your forehead. Number five. Meatless Fridays. You know it's Lent when McDonald's starts selling their filet fish sandwiches and people are actually buying them. That's because most Catholics don't eat meat on Fridays, except for fish. Fish we can eat. Don't get it twisted either. I will eat meat every day of the week, except for Friday when I have sushi. Cause nothing gets me closer to God than the art of sushi. But anyway, my name's Eddie G. If you're giving up something for Lent, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with at least one other person, especially if they're celebrating Lent. Till next time, my name's Eddie G. Signing off. Have a productive season of fasting, repentance, almsgiving, and prayer.